Welcome to AmineAcademy.com. In analytical solid geometry, let us discuss about angle between two lines in terms of their direction ratios. Now, the angle theta between two lines whose direction ratios direction ratios are proportional to to a1 a2 a3 and B1, B2, and B3, and C1, C2, C3. Now, you can see the theta now, the theta can be written in terms of cos theta, we can express this as A1 into A2 plus B1 into B2 plus C1 into C2 over square root of a1 square plus a2 square uh, a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square into square root of a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square now let us discuss about condition for perpendicularity and parallelism first condition that two lines are perpendicular condition for perpendicular perpendicularity we will discuss now here the cos theta is given as a1 into a2 plus b1 into b2 plus c1 into c2 over a1 square plus b1 square plus b1 square square root into square root of a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square here cos theta is uh, cos 90 equal suppose here we know that cos 90 equal to 0 which means for uh, perpendicular we had for perpendicularity we had to give the expression as equal to 0 that is a1 into a2 plus b1 into b2 plus c1 into c2 over square root of a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square into square root of a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square equal 0. By cross multiplying we will get a1 into a2 plus b1 into b2 plus c1 into c2 equal to 0 this is a condition for perpendicularity of two lines. Now, next condition for parallelism. Condition for parallelism. For condition for parallelism means that is cos 0 equal to 1 means here cos 0 equal to 1 we know that therefore by applying and uh, rearranging this formula we will get uh, the condition is uh, a1 by a2 equal b1 by b2 equal c1 by c2 is the condition for 
parallelism of two lines. We have done. Please subscribe our YouTube channel.